Hello, 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 everyone. I don't know. The lighting in here is like bad, but hello and welcome back to Psychology Eats. And I have another topic for you. This subscriber um, is going through a heartbreak. And basically, her man, her partner, oh, goodness, ladies, I'm sorry gentlemen her partner um, left her she wasn't expecting it um, but he ended the relationship pretty abruptly and has apparently moved on in his life um, within a year of this breakup and has moved on and has fathered a child with someone else leaving um, the subscriber hurt, confused, lonely, upset, and questioning herself as a as a woman, as a mate, as what did I do? Um, and and my response to her is, he's gone. It's over. And he has left you feeling broken and it's okay this happens it happens in life it doesn't mean your life is over it means it's over with him right and when you think about how he left the relationship and you think about what you want in a relationship He's definitely not what you want because he's not loyal, right? I think one, nobody has to be with us. Like, people, you don't, no relationship, people have a choice in relationships, period, right? I can choose to be married and I could choose not to be married. I could choose to be in a relationship or not be in a relationship. But I think the human thing to do is when you no longer want to be in a relationship, that you not leave someone broken. The human thing to do is be careful with someone's heart, their mind, their spirit. Be be kind, right? And I think the way from what she she said, he wasn't kind in the way he ended the relationship. And you can't control that. Unfortunately, we can't control what other people do. The only thing you could do is learn from the experience and move forward. Knowing that you've learned some things, right? Hopefully you're going to learn some things in your relationship that you have with him. Maybe he gave you red flags that you weren't really paying attention to. And now you are armed with that information that you're going to be able to take in your next relationship. Not saying that you're going to bring the baggage of that, but you need to learn some things from what happened. Was he being distant with you? Was he not being honest? And you were just ignoring all of those signs. Well now, moving forward, you're going to be able to recognize when someone is not being honest and when things are changing, you will be able to recognize those things now. So, there's a lesson. If you don't learn a lesson in this heartache, this heartbreak, this feeling of loneliness and sadness, if you don't learn a lesson, then you'll, re you'll repeat that. You'll go to another relationship and things will end or fall apart and you're left like, what happened? Because you didn't learn the lesson. Learn the lesson. You know, is it your fault? Is it his fault? Is it something you did? Something you could change? It's not 100% on him. Maybe there were some things that you were doing that he didn't like. But he didn't know how to verbalize it to you. Or maybe he did and you ignored it. So, look at everything that happened in the relationship. And I would, you know, reach out to you and say, you know, talk to a therapist. Because you are really hurting from this experience. 
and it can stay with you for a long time people tell you to get over it's not easy to get over a heartbreak I've been through it most of the viewers have been through it and you get through it time I, I wrote down time and willingness to love again take that with you give yourself time to heal and the willingness to love again and go back I think I did a video on attachment go back and watch that video go back and watch attachment be willing to love again alright well that's it for this question don't forget to like subscribe share this video let people know what I'm over here doing on Psychology Eats. If you have a question, email me at psychology eats the number two at gmail.com. Thank you.